Hello, my name is Arthur, and in the last video we left off um, just getting the tank going and finding he was um, not quite working up to expectations. Um, so I've gone and I've monkeyed around with settings and changed some script and put some effort into trying to get some control over the vehicle, get it to act a little bit more realistically. Or, you know, just get it to a point where it can be controlled. So I figured out the slippery ground fairly well. The vehicle is not super easy to drive, that's for sure. It's quite difficult to drive, especially with the setup currently in this scene where um, driving is RC style. So driving a vehicle RC style always has a bit of um, an adjustment curve. But I've got it so it's not quite so slippery. It stops um, when it's not accelerating. I've changed the tra track motion a bit and the way that that's um, being applied so that the track motion looks a little more in line with the movement of the tank and I can move the tank around and give him practice um, can drive it though there's still some issues with slide and um, we can look at what I've been experimenting with um, to try to get that sliding under control. Um, I've been increasing the friction on the drive wheels, so on the two drive wheels. So, yeah, probably some of the problem comes from having only the two drive wheels and using the vehicle non-conventionally. And, yeah, well, it's taking some playing around. So I've been eking this value up, playing around with the uh, speed values and such. And I changed the suspension a little bit as well. So that's a little less slippery again. We can get the vehicle to turn quickly and then get it back under control reasonably quick with a little bit of practice. Which is, as I figure it should be, I'm not the sort of person who, who has much interest in, in a game where you touch the screen and then it does everything for you. Like I'm more into the skill games, so something that maybe doesn't quite handle quite like a tank should but has a a skill level to get it to play um that's more to my liking than something that plays itself i'm not into a game that would play itself so other than maybe a little bit more slide than i'd like and to be honest, I really don't see a way around that other than keeping on increasing that traction. Um, a lot of the settings that we have to play with, like we can play with the tank weight, and I have. I've cut it by about 25%. I've played with the speed. Um, I've introduced what I, a variable I'm calling drag. Um, what that is, is <clears throat> I've made everything conditional in physics process. So if there is a left value, it's going to apply engine force. Otherwise, it's going to reset the force to zero and apply brake, which is just a drag of one. That's not a very high level. That number can be played with, and the same with the right wheel. And I've also changed um, left, right, so it's no longer a factor of 10. I've gotten rid of the integer and the rounding, and that seems to be working okay. Um, in my 
first playing around, um, I found the integer worked better with the rounding, but this time around it seems to be working better without it. So that's kind of where I went with that. Now, because I don't have, don't, because I'm not increasing the value of get input strength, um, I'm applying a multiplier to speed to get the tank tread to play a little bit faster. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure on the time and delta part of part of this. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely not entirely sure about that. But it seems to be working. Um, let's see, the other things that I did was on the main drive wheels, I left the suspension rather stiff. And on the other wheels, I reduced the stiffness a little bit. So these wheels will tend to ease back and be um, more readily let the, the drive wheels in the center do the work and um, yeah it, it, it'd be very worthwhile to experiment with different wheel configurations than I have going on here because a sequence of smaller wheels might also be the way to go and looking for some math to um, to calculate the speed differences in the wheels that might be an idea too to get some differential so so that instead of just having two drive wheels they could all be drive wheels my previous attempt at that was um it didn't work so i don't know if i want to retry that yet or not i think that for the action that I'm getting and the amount of effort I've put into it that I'm pretty much willing to to move on to the next part and come up with a turret. So I'm on controller so my thinking for a turret is going to be the trigger buttons. Now on my controller my um, I don't have analog triggers. So my left right buttons are both digital. So it'll be a one speed rotation kind of deal on a turret. So I was thinking of getting a turret that rotates and elevates and then maybe start looking at different kind of views that you should get out of a tank. Because they're seeing the tank from the outside and then there's um, sort of operating the tank more from there's a driver's point of view there's the turrets point of view there's the machine gun point of view and yeah there's also the idea of having rockets so there's actually a few different ways to look at targeting and stuff like that for a 3d effort um, yeah, I've never attempted to do something like that before, but the idea kind of interests me. So, <clears throat> uh, a lot of games that I've played where you drive a vehicle like that, um, you may have the choice from an external view, so we would have a camera follow kind of deal, and then an internal view where you're just inside of the vehicle and operating it that way. And yeah, because it's a tank, there's also the turret view. So the inside view can only look out the front window, but the turret can look around, but while it's doing that, can't see where it's going. So there's lots of different things to consider for, for what to experiment with a project like this. So from here, I don't know, I could tweak on, tweak on those friction values and try to get the tank functioning 
driving a little easier but I'm pretty sure that where it's at is getting pretty close and that maybe some of those values once tweaked maybe a little bit more it's still a little bit icy on the floor and I don't see any other way to change friction so maybe a little more tweaking on that to get it to people's taste um, so if a person's experimenting with that it would be looking at the speed the drag um, maybe experimenting with different wheel configurations which is something that I'll probably do in the future um, really considering it's a first tank effort <clears throat> Excuse me. Considering it's a first tank effort, um, the idea of looking at a more advanced type of tread, that's also in my head. Because I do like the challenge of trying to figure things out. But that would actually require me to um, have a little more familiarity with how a tank tread actually works. Because I don't have a lot of familiarity with that. So, yeah, the other thing for me to play with here is maybe look at the friction on the inactive wheels and what they're doing. And that's about it. Like, it's really just a matter of tweaking now. So in the next video, we'll come back and we'll look at getting a turret that rotates and elevates. So, yeah, I'd be thinking that'll probably, for me and my con on my controller, it's probably going to be the left and right triggers and then the D-pad. Um, the D-pad up and down for lifting, elevating the turret. So, yeah, that'll be in the next video or two. And I hope that this was useful at what there was not a lot in this um it's really just a sort of review of what can be done to change the action of the tank and more or less what i've learned myself from the last video till now so yeah in the next video we'll come back we'll model up a turret and get that working and until then take care